Good luck to you both. And now, Miss USA 2019 is North Carolina. Yes, the one and only Chesley Kristen. We have her with us right now. We got her, we got her, we got her. Thank you, thank you. I still get nervous hearing that. My hands are sweating again. I I couldn't even imagine, like, you're a fellow athlete. You're an athlete like I was. uh, No, I'm an athlete. We Heather, (laughs) we have things in common. Like I Why was, are you making that face? Because I always try to talk about my uh, upbringing, and one of the things I did is ran track, and I was a Northern California oh, AAU wow, champion at triple awesome. jump in my high school. Triple jump, and I too. know you were. Tri- people don't know about the triple jump. You yeah. know about triple jump? I know about. I did the triple jump. Oh my gosh, Heather! <laughs> she <laughs> has, <laughs> she has proof. Nobody's seen Sway's triple oh, jump. Oh no, no. <laughs> the triple Just do it jump in the hallway. Now. We'll watch. No, no, my PR was like forty-eight four. Okay, you okay, know that was yeah. good. You know back. Yeah. You know, in high school. In high school. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so that, <laughs> that was good. Go yeah. keep you oh, about eighteen <laughs> feet now. Um, <laughs> you have such a, a rich history, and one of the things I appreciate most is uh, uh, the the tie between you and your parents. And uh, this is a family that stays healthy together. Mm-hmm. You know, your parents are athletes as well. Yep. Uh, they run 5Ks together, Heather B. Nice. Uh, as she mentioned, her stepfather is also an attorney, a practicing mm-hmm. attorney, yeah. right? He yeah. was there when you got sworn in? Or? He was. He sponsored me. In North Carolina, you have to have an attorney to sponsor you in order to get sworn in. So my stepdad did that, which is really cool. Wow. Nice. And it, it, your pageant history, where did it start? Where did it all begin? Yeah, I competed at my high school pageant for Miss Northwestern High. I was mm-hmm. Miss Freshman. I won. Okay. Um, and I did that because my mom competed in a pageant. She was Mrs. North Carolina 2002. Okay. So she won a pageant for married women when I was younger. I was about 10 10 years old when she won and she was the second black Mrs. North Carolina. Mm-hmm. So not only did I watch her win, but I knew the importance of her being a black woman winning a state title. I wanted that for myself. You know, that's interesting because I know uh, Miss Teen USA, Kaylee G- Kaylee Garris, Garris yep. um, made an interesting decision. I read about this. Um, people wanted her to change her natural hair mm-hmm. and thought that might affect her chances of winning. And she went against that advice and end up winning it anyway, mm-hmm. just to represent who she is. Oh, yeah. That was important for you as well on stage? It was, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because you know people talk about pageants and talk about women being successful in pageants, and they tell you, you need to be authentic. You need mm-hmm. to be authentically you. And for me, I mean, this is the way that my hair grows out of my head. Why would I not wear it this way mm-hmm. for one of the most important events of my life? And so I had to wear my natural hair because it was so true to me. Yes. Same for my dress. I mean, my dress was pretty simple. I mean, huh. it was just a plain white velvet dress with some chains coming down the side. But, I mean, that's what I wanted. I didn't want a big sparkly beaded dress that was authentically me, so that's what I wore. Let me tell you what the country looks like in terms of the pageant game right now. So uh, Kaylee Garris won Miss Teen USA, uh, African. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had our good friend come here uh, last year, Miss current Miss America, well, previous Miss America, Ania Franklin came she's in. Current, yeah, she's, she's current Miss America. Miss America mm-hmm. Okay, yep. um, and then right now we got Miss USA, who's also African. Things are changing now. The yeah. face of beauty, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. What, yeah. What, what does beauty look like now? Oh, well, clearly it looks like an African-American woman. Yeah, it's wonderful being a part of that trifecta. And what's very interesting, I've talked about this a lot, what's interesting is that when I won Miss USA, I didn't think about all the national um, title holders are women of color. Mm-hmm. What I thought was, I watched Nia compete. She was the best woman out there, and she deserved to Absolutely. win. Absolutely. I watched Kaylee compete. She was the best woman out there. She deserved to win. And I earned my title as well. And so not only are we all women of color we are women who just earned our titles right they weren't handed to us because mm-hmm. we're black women mm-hmm. they weren't handed to us because the miss universe organization wanted to make a statement they were we were they were earned they mm-hmm. were bought and paid for and so i think that's an important state, statement to make is that like we happen to be all women of color but we're also talented women. y'all the bomb basically mm-hmm. you know uh chesley christ is here you know, you're you're an athlete like me. You know, we've been at the start. We've been in the starting blocks. <laughs> we both approach the finish line first. You know, but uh, oh, you do a starting block in the triple jump, do you? No, well, I, you, I'm assuming you were a sprinter too, because most triple jumpers are sprinters. Well, as I well. did I did the heptathlon for a couple of years. Oh shit! So, you yeah. did that too, Sway. Hey. I, I did the triathlon. <laughs> you know, I didn't, you know, I didn't make it to the head. Oh, no. Well, that's eight events. Uh, seven. Seven, seven events. events. Yeah. Okay, yeah, mm-hmm. and I, I was could have been a decathlete, but uh. <laughs> Hip hop, <laughs> hip hop took me in a different direction, yeah. Heather. Okay. So I start juggling different jobs. <laughs> of, yeah, you think Chesley, you can relate to this. Um, <laughs> the moments before they make that announcement that you're the winner, mm-hmm. 
Like, what can you recall what was going on in your head? Like, I can, yes, yeah. yes. So when I when I won my state title as Miss North Carolina USA, I was holding hands with my first runner up, and she prayed for us because we both go to Elevation Church together. Mm-hmm. And so oh, she said a prayer for us. Yes, yes. one of my yes. favorites. Yes. Pastor Church. Bird, yes. Hello, yes. My, that's my dog. <laughs> Me too. Not that I know him, but you know, right. you know, over <laughs> over Instagram. Same. Same. Um, okay. So I remember that moment, and I wanted that same thing. It gave me a sense of peace when I won. And so when, when I got to that same position, I was like, we got to pray. So I thought, you know, God, please just watch over us. Please guide our path. And whoever w- wins Miss USA, please watch over her. Mm-hmm. And so then I was just silent. My mind went blank, and they called North Carolina. Hello. And she's here with us today on Sway wow. in the Morning. I want to open up the phone lines and, and, and talk about what this position means and what else you got going on with you. Okay. okay. 888-742-3345. Give us a call. Oh. Four five practicing attorney, Miss USA, all around wonderful individual. Yeah, her spirit is just filled up the room. It feel like I'm talking yeah. to a family member right Absolutely. now. Absolutely, Absolutely. Chesley Chris is here, and you know my home girl Nia Nia Franklin, who uh um came here last year, uh, Miss America. And you guys are friends, or yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. in 2016, I was giving up a local title. I competed in the Miss America system, mm-hmm. and I was giving up my local title, Miss Metrolina. And Nia was competing for the title of Miss Metrolina, mm-hmm. and she didn't win. But I thought she was phenomenal. I told you this that mm. when they were practicing doing their talent before the pageant, um, they were playing this track, and I was like, they should play the instrumental so she can like actually practice singing. And they were like, no, no, that's her voice. She's singing right now. <laughs> wow. Yeah, because her voice is phenomenal. I mean, it's unbelievable. Let's take a listen. To to it when she came here um, last year. Oh, God. Yes, here it is. Nia Franklin, Sway in the Morning, Miss America. Call me by my middle name. Let me know it's real. I need something I can see. I need something I can feel. Yeah, it is, man. We got Miss USA, yes. Chesley Chris here. We're going to go to these phone lines real quick. Yeah. Uh, we got Dan from Pittsburgh on the line. Dan good the morning, man. Dan. Big Dan. Big what Dan. Up, Dan? <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Morning. Uh, Miss Chesley, I just had to ask you a question. Uh-huh. I will never in my life, I'm confident in saying never, have the opportunity to ask Miss USA out on a date. So here I am <laughs> wow, asking you for a date over the phone. Well, I hope you've got another question because I've got a boyfriend. Hey, baby. I'm sure Peyton's listening. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Dan. Damn. Shot his shot, though. He tried over the phone. He tried. At least a Dan, anything else you want to say? Well, nothing but much respect, and thanks for taking me this morning. Aww. There it is, man. That's what's up. Nice. Dan, you're a citizen, right. man. Right, in the morning. Leave your chin high. All right, Ben from Vegas. Good morning, Ben. Hi, Ben. What up, Ben? Hey, hey, how you guys doing? I'm doing okay. well. Uh, so, uh, congratulations on your title. Thank so, you. Thing. Uh, but, you know, I wanted to, uh, you know, just chime in on the part about Kim Kardashian. I think, you know, what she's doing is great because, realistically, I mean, yeah, there are, you know, on the ground people – like you've been doing that haven't been celebrated because, you know, previous to this, your celebrity wasn't as her status is currently. But name me other black celebrities that are actually trying to make an, 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 a real difference in the amount of low in, uh, uh, individuals that are incarcerated for low-level um, crimes that aren't violent crimes. I mean, mm-hmm. think about it. If you think about all of the people that Beyonce has following her or Oprah or Tyler Perry or all these major artists with all the money that they have, why do we have somebody that's not a person of color, you know, fighting for people of color when no one else is? So, but, but, but see, I Ben, 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 ben let, let me, but let me see, see, Ben, there, there are people. Hill Harper just walked out and told you the work he's doing. Jay-Z just started a whole uh, movement called Reform. Common does a lot of work. Common. Okay. Yeah, and we do. Ava, Ava, Ava and Duvene. that's the part I was saying. There okay. are others who are doing this work, but now all of a sudden, and Kim Kardashian, and I'm happy she's doing it. I'm happy the work is being advocated for. I'm happy she's paying the money for the attorneys who are actually getting these individuals off. I'm happy she's 
doing that. But we just named off all these individuals. This caller was unaware of all this greatness of all black individuals who have been doing this. He even mentioned the documentary 13 that really describes mm-hmm. this in such great detail. And that's the part I'm saying in the sense of when we began to make this the face. Well, you know, maybe Kim could help bring the light some of these other folks too. <laughs> bring the light to Ava <laughs> Juvenet. I'm joking. But, I mean, I mean, I think, it, I think it all, it's almost I'm joking, representative. Mike. Oh, I know, I know, I know. I, know. I think it's almost representative of her brand. And then Kim Kardashian is incredibly visible. We know everything about her yeah. life. Yeah. And, but if you think about Beyonce and Jay, they are very private with their mm-hmm. lives. And it's not surprising that you don't know mm-hmm. about what they're doing behind the scenes. And I think that's okay. Like, I'm okay. And I'm sure my stepdad is okay if nobody ever no. knows that we do this work. What is most important is that we work for our clients and that change is made. So I don't care if nobody ever knows yeah. the name of my client as yeah. long as he gets out and he gets justice. Boom. Layla Steinberg, um, who manages Earl Sweatshirt um, and managed Pac, Tupac. She used to take Pac and I out on tours to speak in communities, have been working in, uh, has been working in San Quentin Prison for decades. Sway been doing work, y'all. Okay, MC Hammer, mm-hmm. who's also one of the founding members of the organization. I'm a member of The Last Mile, and we're in about 50 different uh, facilities across the uh, United States, and we're teaching those behind bars who want to do it how to code. Right. So mm-hmm. we have a 0% recidivism rate, and these folks are getting placed in positions, Ben. But I swear, I know for a fact I'm not as popular as Kim Kardashian. And, <laughs> and to, Fewer Instagram followers. <laughs> no, nah, man. Got, yeah, my, she sneezes on my Instagram followers. <laughs> but I know what it's like to be in that prison system. So if anybody uh, can bring life to it, hey, so be it. Chesley Christus here, Miss USA. Have the be you have something you want to say to her? Yes, because Chesley mentioned 2016, and I was uh, thinking about um, Halima, Halima Aiden. She competed mm-hmm. um, in 2016, mm-hmm. and she made history when she walked on stage, uh, covered, I believe, Muslim is her uh, religion as she practices, and mm-hmm. she was wearing her traditional garden. You mentioned just being traditional and staying, well, not traditional, authentic, authentic. Mm-hmm. and being right. true to who you are, and to see her now in a Sports Illustrated in the swimsuit and her being covered. I just think is really dope, Chesley, what you do, because it gives Thank us you. the opportunity um, when we're watching the television and we have our nieces around us and mm-hmm. different people and it's like, oh, I look like that or I can relate to that in a way where it just hasn't been shown before and it's it's, it's happening in so many different uh, areas. Exactly. So I just wanted to salute you. Like it, it's thank not you. even a question just to say <laughs> thank you for, for, for doing your work. Just thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Well, and I think it's important. I think you, you, know, you made a great point in that it's incredibly important to be authentic because sometimes being different and being unique is what gives other people power and courage to have their own uniqueness and show it. And, you know, I'm glad to be that for other people by wearing my natural hair and doing other things. Things that make me authentic. Mm-hmm. Okay. Chesley, what about, I wonder, we talked about how the beauty standards have changed and now it's like African American and I feel like it's been like way for a long time but no one wanted to acknowledge it. Mm-hmm. Let's just say there was, I don't know, a five-year-old white girl in Wyoming and she's watching and she and she's seeing all these images of black women and so she becomes influenced the same way a lot of us when we were younger, we saw a lot of white images so we wanted straight hair, we wanted to dye it blonde, blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah. But then this girl grows up and she's hearing she's being attacked for being a cultural appropriator. But she's like, I just wanted my hair to be curly. So I found this wig. So I didn't want it straight. What would you say to white girls that are growing up and their idols are black? And so they want to kind of embrace that. But it's not natural. Does that make sense? Right. Right. Well, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think what's most important is that, you know, if you're doing something like you're wearing braids and you've got some beads in them, like you give credit where credit is due. Hey, I'm wearing this because so and so inspired me. Mm -hmm. I saw this on this show and she's really important. And that's why I want to emulate mm-hmm. that. I don't think there's anything wrong with that because I think you're right. You know, I grew up knowing, you know, role models who were white and who were black. Mm-hmm. And I wanted my straight hair. In fact, for years, my hair was relaxed. I did not have curly hair. Right. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, I, I'll be darned if somebody comes up to me and says, you trying to be like the white girl? Like, no, no, I, I had relaxed hair because it was easy to do. And then I grew my hair out because I wanted it to be natural. Mm-hmm. Got okay. it. Miss USA is here, hey. Chesley Christ. Uh, we saw you answer some really great well, we saw some real great responses to mm-hmm. questions you answered at the Miss USA uh, pageant. But, you know, I, don't, I feel almost like it's not really official, Heather, mm-hmm. until she answers questions here on Sway in the Morning that our citizens <laughs> came up <laughs> with. <laughs> and then the rites of passage will be complete. Okay. okay right, so, okay, Chesley, Chris, welcome to the mystery sack. Go ahead and oh, reach in. <laughs> <laughs> 
put God. your hands you into Sway's sack. Wait, that sounds up. gross. Up, up. Oh, that it's sounds terrible. Sway's oh, no. mystery sack on Shade 45. Okay. Oh, no. It's so easy. so much fun. You're going to stick your it's hand into Sway's little, sack. It's glittery. Glittery uh, little one at a question time. bag. One at a time. Yep. You're going to uh, do it one. three times. Read it out loud. You have to okay. answer honestly. Good luck, Chesley. What happened the last time you deeply disappointed someone? Everybody loves me. What do you mean disappointed? <laughs> 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 you know, I think the the person that I recognize as disappointing mostly is myself. Okay. I remember when I competed, I competed for the title of Miss North Carolina USA three times. And the second time that I competed, I was only top 10, didn't make top five. I'd won a swimsuit award every time I got there. I didn't win a swimsuit. And for me, it was difficult knowing that, like, I came here to win. And I left without that crown. Um, but I knew I had one more chance left. And I didn't want to live with the regret of not taking that additional chance and using it and knowing like either I was going to win or I was going to lose. So that's the last time. Great answer. Mm-hmm. 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 Disappointed Number ourselves. two. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Used to win and triple jumpers have that spirit. Though. Oh gosh. <laughs> well, I'm used to win <laughs> too. Go. Okay. If I had to be roommates in a small NYC apartment with any one celebrity, who would it be and why? My uh, roommate now, I live with Miss Universe, of all people. Okay. She's incredible. Damn. Wow. Yes, oh. yes, right? Wow. Goals. Wow. Yes. How really? Does- <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That is my roommate, Miss Miss Universe, Cat Gray, which is amazing. You know, uh-huh. it's sort of like it's important to visualize where you want to go. Uh-huh. And, you know, Miss Universe, the competition will be, you know, sometime in the next few months or end of the year. We don't have a date or a time yet or a place. Um, but I want to be Miss Universe. Obviously, I want to be able to represent um, women internationally. And that's where I want to go. So how cool that I get to Damn. like see her every day. Yeah, you're getting the cheat yeah. code right, right there, man. All wow. right. Last question. Here we go. Idea. Miss so Universe. Miss US Miss Universe is after Miss USA. Wait, Miss yes. America, Miss Un- no, How does so it Miss go? America is a separate system. The Miss America organization is a nonprofit organization. Okay. The Miss Universe organization is the parent company sort of of the Miss USA, USA. competition yeah. okay. that okay. okay. run okay. it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. So Miss USA competes at Miss Universe. Final um, question. What's your favorite and least favorite body part on yourself? I would say uh, it's not really a body part, but like my favorite is my hair. Okay. Um, it is the bane of my existence some days <laughs> because it takes like three hours to style. Mm-hmm. Um, but I love it. Um, least favorite, I would say probably like I have really athletic thighs mm-hmm. and it's so hard to find pants that fit my thighs and my waist. Right. <laughs> Got it. So, you know, you run track for years. Mm-hmm. I could squat almost 300 pounds. Damn. And so, you know, I still wow. have really strong quads and it's hard to fit pants that will fit my quads and fit my waist. So my waist is a little smaller. So I'd say that yeah. just, just because it's hard to find good clothes. Yeah. And I, I deal with that too, Chesley, oh. a lot of times. As an athlete <laughs> yourself. As an athlete, you <laughs> know, so you, you, like you different deal with these issues pants. all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah. It's bulging out and it's just, it wow. looks crazy. It's tight in one. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, we get that. If you had to lose your hair, would you be able to? Yeah, actually, when I was so I mentioned that I used to have relaxed hair that it was straight, mm-hmm. and when I was growing it out, instead of just like watching it grow out, I did the big chop. Mm-hmm. And so at one point in time, my hair was like about two or three inches long. There mm-hmm. are actually pictures of me wearing it in a mohawk every day because I hated wearing it in my little curly mm-hmm. fro. Mm-hmm. But yeah, why not? You rocked with it, okay? Mm-hmm. Hey, this has been an absolute pleasure. Yeah, Give man. a big round of applause, Thank Miss you. USA. Thank you so much. Chesley Chris, go off and be great. And if people want to reach you on social, how can they reach you? Uh, you should find me on Instagram at Chesley Chris, on Twitter Chesley Chris, or on Instagram at Miss USA. I hope you enjoyed your time with us. We yes, enjoyed I did. you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Yeah.